Vida Vila. My name is Lionel Masavages. I'm principal to the player at Ukrainian Opera and Ballet Theatre and also a teacher at Ukrainian Music Academy. Um, dear friend Jakub Kurbanchik asked me to make a video about orchestral excerpts. Um, to be uh, exact, I'm really, really uh, uh, excited about this and uh, it's kind of a challenge for me because uh, I've never done this before and uh, so I learned how to edit videos uh, and um, I had to find a really, really nice room. This is new, room is really nice, but as all tuba players know, when you play louder, most of the time lamp starts to do weird things or weird noises. So I hope I can somehow cut that or not. Well, sorry, uh, <laughs> it is like it is. Um, uh, during my videos, I will just show some tips about orchestral excerpts, what I think, it's only my opinion, and what to improve, and uh, you know, uh, it's pretty different in the weird period, you know, because on one hand you have, you know, practicing uh, tuba, uh, and on the other hand you have family, you know, and then, you know, especially on weekends, you always choose family. Yeah, because the uh, opera is locked, academy is locked, but um, we can teach online and we can have one uh, contact lesson a week, short one. That's that's fantastic what we can, we can get this moment. So that's what how we live now here. And uh, if you find the videos nice, uh, please smile. And if not, then we will see you online uh, lessons. Uh, on 22nd, 23rd of October uh, online and if you don't agree, that would be really, really nice so we can start a really nice discussion. See you there! Leo de Bebe Copelia. Yes, this is what we have in our opera. Uh, we play this ballet. And um, what should we start? Should we start? Uh, this is what they call light ballet, right? It's not like Tchaikovsky or Prokofiev, you know, Romeo and Juliet in, or, 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 I don't know, Swan Lake. Uh, this is light ballet, and uh, for myself, I use uh, for adult ballets, I use F tuba uh, because. Uh, uh, it has to sound very, 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 uh, like, you know, classical, like, very gentle. And then we come to this orchestral excerpt, we see tempo di mazurka, and we see so many accents. We see double forte, but we really know double forte in uh, the Liberian music is one thing, and two forte in Tchaikovsky. Uh, so we really, really have to think about that. Also, we have to think about if we are playing alone, or we play with a two team of orchestra, or we play together with trombones or with all the brass. It's it's very important to know how loud you should be, you know. So in general, we have to see all the picture, you know, and we have a really really strong idea about this. Here we see the accents, and uh, you shouldn't play really 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 tough on them, you know. Tradition uh, here in Vilnius. We play a bit a bit slower. It's just a little bit, you know. It depends what happens on the stage, you know. So it's not that fast at, 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 at the beginning, you know. So my advice for the first part is not to focus on accents and to forte, but more to focus on very round and beautiful sound because you have only some trombones. Right? And uh, very, very equal, beautiful sound through the octaves, you know, because sometimes you go up, the sound gets smaller. No, it has to be really, really nice and, of course, very, very clear articulation. So, rhythm, 
it looks like it's in 4-4 or something like that, but it's in 3. So it's very important. This is very important to keep that, right? Not too loud, not too hard. It's not like soldiers dancing there with the uh, dirty boots, you know. It's it's dreams, I guess. I mean, it's different from 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 um, from from country to country and, and everything. But it's it's more mystical and it's a classical vibe, you know. You don't take a, a C tuba for Adams Don Quixote and play no. No, you have to have very very always. You have to always have really dead, not forced and delicate sound. So that's about the, the first part, and the second part is fast one. The, the trick is we don't have where to breathe. So my advice is to breathe only once after C sharp. Of course, then you can't play that loud and you can't really, really force uh, articulation, you know. So you have to try to find the balance. So all the notes sounds kind of uh, soundy, like, like uh, not loud, not bright, you know. But always remember, we play, we play with trombones. So if you play forte or two forte, there will be very, very big difference, you know. So it's better guys with a smaller instruments, they can play a bit louder. And then you have to breathe every two and third bar. Second uh, tip for, for the ending of this Coppelia is practice with pretty long notes and, uh, and uh, very clear articulation. Very clear, articul uh, clear articulation and long notes. It might get too, too, too anxious, right? So, 10 times slowly, one in tempo. 10 times slowly. Yes, you try it in three, then the result has to be in one. You know, and uh, as I said, you know, we play together with trombone. You know, so it's not that. On additions, of course, of course, uh, you have to find a balance so it's not mezzo forte. It has to be at least forte and, and closer to fortissimo. But it doesn't have to be. A... No, it's not that easy. You know, so that's my main tips for Capelli. Right? Um, rhythm, the sound. Um, don't be so harsh on the angst and effect and uh, uh, accents and uh, tempo measurement first part to play fast and free second part it has to be on one I hope I helped you uh, something about it Slurs. The first 
first time after Sol and second time after Dolis. Just because it's not right to breathe onto the bar line, your phrase is getting a bit, a bit, a bit uh, broken, right? But when you breathe up a note with the dot, music really, really doesn't stop, right? And you don't have to be a crane. We prefer a double basses that are playing really, really, really long and down there. And this floor is really, really professionally coded. Then the next tip, the second tip, is the long notes. It's very important to be active on them. It's very important not to do a weird vibrato or something like I sometimes do, but it just, I cannot just play, whoa, I need to do something with the notes, right? So we have to always find what to do with the long notes. If you just breathe uh, harder or faster, the note will explode or it will be a fiddle or it will change color. You really have to focus that the air goes really wild. Then you know you're gonna make those really, really weird, weird waves. And the third tip for this place is a triplet. Don't rush it. As uh, Mr. Slavos Tokovic, the famous cello player, said, you have to imagine that the poison gets to your throat. You know, poison it's it's it goes slowly. And they know that the Romanian people, uh, they know that they can take the poison, yeah. So it goes really, really deeply in your throat and slowly and you can feel it, you know. So it's very important because the centripetal plays bass prime and, and, and uh, double basses. So we have to break some slurs to make it longer phrases. We have to do something really intensive a long phrasing on a long notes and really give uh, a lot of attention to the triplets that makes this orchestra excerpt really beautiful. So it's very com it says it's very comfortable to forte, right? And, and you can move them and stuff. But it's very important that F is not really ugly, you know, and, and because you need to play together with trumpet. And to find really, really, really beautiful sound, you really have to find this bullseye. And it's a really, really big, big discussion, you know, should it be louder, should it be softer, or should you know, but if it's louder, the air gets faster, then you need to breathe more, you know. But the most important is phrase, you know. So maybe not so loud, but think of more phrasing, intonation, you know, and find really, really, really nice air, you know. Not too loud, not too 
surprised because, as I said, mentioned, you know, so in good case, in good case, maybe you know, in this case, very low, you really don't go into this often. You, know, you also have to see your section, but many play for audition. You have to really, really find balance because you dance in audition. Juries are also, I you know, good players or string players, and they, they, when they hear this, sound, they just got scared, you know. So, first tip, find a beautiful set for yourself. Second tip um, is tempo. Tempo is 100, so we need to find a metronome, you know, because some notes might respond not so fast, you know, and some notes again, maybe you hit the center, they explode, you have to be very, very careful. But tempo is very important, you know, because this, 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 it starts from palm, you know, and, and the tempo keeps, keeps pretty much the same. Um, but when the trombones, Section comes like a Valkyrie. It's bum 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 bum. But when it comes to a pop then bum bum then, it 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 gets a little bit a bit a bit slower, you know. So in this section, usually conductors like you know you know because the French horn plays before, you know, and 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 they play really really like in hundred very so ninety six ninety four is also fine. So it's very important find a steady, steady tempo. And the third thing is breathing. So you you take two breaths, that's for sure. Pa 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 that's breath here for sure. Pa pa pe pa pe pa pa and breath there. You know that's two breaths where you can breathe uh, a lot, you know. <laughs> So, and you don't ruin the phrase, you know. Then, if you need to take one or two breaths, you know, it has to be fast, and of course, you have to sacrifice a little bit of noise before, you know. How to breathe fast? There's a really, really simple exercise, you know. You take four. And so on. Then you can take faster. One, two, three. And just turn it. Yeah. Nobody born with fast breathing, but everybody can train it very easily. This is very, very. There are many uh, exercises to, to learn how to fast breathe. Yeah, but if you don't breathe fast, train it. And you be faster. Yes. So that's that's three tips. Uh, I think it's really important for this exercise. <laughs>
exhibition. Um, it's very, very famous for, for tuba, um, I think that's one of the, the very bad you know, uh, in the fence. But in this excerpt, I would like to speak about three uh, very important things. You know. So, of course, the first is the high story is, the second is uh, picture. You have to really, really start imagination what's happening there because it's picture it's exhibition. And the third is the way the dynamics are put all the way to the right pressure. So, uh, the first thing about Soyuz, of course, it is high if it's your last note, you know, so you have to know what you are doing the day. But it's only practice, it's a matter of the practice. Uh, what method I use in a high register? I use high shift and low register, I use low shift, you know, so when I play low, super low, I, I use only my lower. When I play high, I use my upper root. Upper root. Of course, it's only the beginning, then you, you, you play both ears, so I was wondering in the fence on what I play now with both ears, of course, so I guess you know, but it's a very, very good exercise to improve. <laughs> So, 
Coffin of the Atlas, okay, but he has two sons, you know. Then you go up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then at the first part, then we have 17 bars, the two key plays of the channel while the same melody, you know, and then you start with a fortissimo. This place has to be loud, it can be really, really loud, you know, but it's very big discussion of that too. But should you play and, and so on, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's better with that, so that, that, that makes you so bad. And, uh, and after this, you go piano, 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 and that's crazy, it's piano, but of course, you have to hit. So this, what's, that's what's very, very uh, difficult, you know. So don't take the last song, it's really, really soft. Just take comfortable mezzo piano, it's not mezzo forte, you know. So you have instead of of course, it's possible, you know. But but when you're on the stage, it's like something like a chef, you don't have only one chance to play it and a second chance, so it's better. But a little bit, a little bit more secure. And the last thing, but not least, is usually people only play the half of the orchestra. Very, very weird. Only they play the first part and you know the bobby, bobby. That's 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 very weird. because the most difficult part is the end at the end. You know, they, they, they play the first part with fresh, beautiful legs, then you have to break, then you play fortissimo, and they have to finish sort of soft with the so yes, I'm telling you that. So please play the whole excerpt. Okay. <laughs> Listen, you know, but when you 
you take the air pressure off, it becomes Thank you.